Did you know that over 3,600 chemicals leach into our food supply, posing potential health risks? According to an article on CNN, out of over 3,000 food contact chemicals, 79 pose significant health risks, including cancer and reproductive problems. As a matter of fact, the most relevant food and feed contaminants include natural toxins, environmental contaminants, and process contaminants. Natural toxins are naturally occurring substances that are produced by different organisms such as alkaloids or mycotoxins from potatoes, coffee, tea, nuts and grains, etc. Environmental contaminants are substances, often from industrial or agricultural processes, that pollute air, water, and soil. These pollutants can enter the food chain, impacting both humans and animals. Examples include PCBs, dioxins, certain pesticides and flame retardants, as well as heavy metals like arsenic, cadmium, lead and mercury. Process contaminants are chemicals that naturally form in food and feed during industrial processes or cooking, such as formation of acrylamides when starchy foods are cooked at high temperatures and formation of furan by thermal degradation of carbohydrate-rich foods such as glucose, lactose, etc. In modern history, Rachel Carson was the first of many to highlight the devastating environmental and health impacts of pesticides, particularly DDT, which were widely used and largely unquestioned at the time. Rachel Carson's groundbreaking book, Silent Spring, 1962, exposed the devastating effects of pesticides like DDT on the environment, particularly on bird populations. The book's title alludes to a world without birdsong due to widespread ecological destruction. Carson revealed shocking facts, such as how pesticides, designed to kill insects, travel up the food chain, harming birds, fish, and ultimately humans. The widespread use of DDT caused the eggshells of birds like eagles and falcons to become so thin that they could not withstand the weight of incubating adults, leading to population declines. Carson's powerful narrative challenged the unchecked power of chemical companies and galvanized public awareness, marking a turning point in environmental advocacy. Her work was endorsed by prominent key figures of the time, including President John F. Kennedy, Supreme Court Justice William O. Douglas, and Senator Abraham Ribicoff, among many others. On the other hand, she faced a barrage of criticism from the chemical industry and its allies, who labeled her as hysterical, emotional, and unscientific, attempting to undermine her credibility and the impact of her work. Silent Spring became a cornerstone in environmental policy reform, indirectly shaping the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. The book inspired global efforts to address environmental degradation, leading to the creation of regulatory frameworks like the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and international agreements like the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants. Carson's advocacy aligns closely with SDG 15, Life on Land, promoting ecosystem preservation, and SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production, encouraging sustainable use of chemicals. Her work underscored the interconnectedness of human health, biodiversity, and environmental stewardship, guiding global priorities to achieve ecological harmony and sustainable development. Carson's message remains profoundly relevant as humanity grapples with climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution. Issues like the overuse of fertilizers, industrial pollution, and the emergence of microplastics echo Carson's warnings about unchecked human activity. For future generations, Silent Spring serves as both a cautionary tale and a source of inspiration to balance technological advancement with ecological preservation. Its enduring legacy reminds us that environmental health is inseparable from human well-being, urging individuals and policymakers to prioritize sustainable practices and safeguard Earth's intricate ecosystems.
Tragically, Rachel Carson succumbed to breast cancer two years after publishing Silent Spring. Ironically, recent research strongly suggests a link between this disease and exposure to toxic chemicals. In a poignant way, Carson's work to warn against these very dangers may have been a fight for her own survival. In 2006, Silent Spring was named one of the 25 greatest science books of all time by the editors of Discover Magazine. Please subscribe to our channel and give a like to this video to appreciate the efforts of Rachel Carson and for the awareness she raised.